Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, in my most recent video, um, you guys saw a ring on my finger and um, recently I got engaged. So um, we decided that we're going to announce it in like a fun way. So we're going to go try to take pictures. The weather is not the greatest today, but um, I thought it would be a great idea to film a video on how I'm gonna be doing my makeup today. Um, so after, if everything works out great and the pictures turn out okay, I'll probably post this video so you'll know. Um, it'll be posted, these pictures will be posted before I post the video. So um, if you like those, then you're probably watching the video to see how I did my makeup. Um, there are a few important things about doing makeup for photos. Um, number one is... Um, the foundation that you use, I'm always scared to uh, use a foundation with sunscreen because if you use any type of flash photography, you're going to get a weird flashback. Estee Lauder Double Wear is horrible for photos. I know it just it just looks horrible if you have any type of flash photography. Usually a really good photographer isn't going to use um, flash, but there will be other people like at events that will use flash photography, like at your wedding or... Um, you know, different places that you're at, if you're going to an event where people are going to be taking photos, chances are someone's going to be using a flash on their camera. So you just have to be very careful of that. Also, um, you need to wear your makeup just a little bit darker than you normally would. That way it will show up in photos. Um, I can apply my makeup like how I regularly would. And when I see my makeup in photos, I'm like, geez, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing any. Not that you want to look like you're wearing a lot of makeup, but um, I like to be able to see my makeup. And um, I don't know, I just want... I want for it to show up, so I like to apply my makeup a little bit darker. So as you can see, it looks a little bit darker than I normally would wear, but in pictures it's going to look great. And um, also false lashes for me, if I know I'm going to be taking photos, is a must because it just makes your eyes look that much more amazing. I know it takes a little bit more time, but sometimes going the extra mile is worth it. So that's another thing that I like to do. Um, the makeup that I prefer when doing makeup on clients um, is the MAC Full Coverage Foundation. It doesn't have any sunscreen. It's full coverage, but it doesn't feel super heavy on the skin. Like, my skin looks flawless right now, and I hardly applied any. I used three different shades, and I kind of just used, like, a lighter shade, and then a medium shade, and then a darker shade to contour. I didn't show that a whole lot in the video, just because kind of wanted to get it on and I know this video is going to be super long anyway so I didn't want it to be like crazy. If you guys want to see a video on that I could probably do that as well. But let's go ahead and get on with the video. Um, I hope So I've already applied my eye primer. I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And then I went ahead and lined my waterline with the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. And that's just to brighten up my eyes, make them look just bigger and brighter. And now I'm just going to be doing my eyes first. And then I'm going to clean up with foundation. That way it's just easier. When I'm applying makeup, when I do freelance work, I always do eyes and then finish up with foundation just because it's it's easier and then you can just clean up any mistakes that you make um, so moving on to my eyes I'm just gonna focusing on I'm just going to focus on making everything just a little bit darker than I would normally do so for my makeup today I'm gonna use a similar colors that I would normally wear I'm just gonna make them just a little bit deeper and darker so I am using quite natural paint pot from Mac and I'm using a smudger brush and I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to start by just taking it right underneath my lower lash line and just smudging it under there. I'm taking it lightly at first and then bringing it up into the outer corner and just working on smudging it in, blending it out. And I'm keeping it more on the outer part of the eye. And this is just going to um, provide a good base. And I've been using this a lot lately because I feel like it's been helping my eyeshadow stay on a little bit longer. And it will just help to keep it there and just make it look a little bit deeper and darker. Making sure to connect the top and bottom 
And always in pictures, I feel like I need to apply my makeup a little bit darker for it to show up. I'll do like my full face of makeup and then I'll take pictures and you won't be able to see my makeup very well. So I feel like if I know I'm going to be having pictures done or if I'm doing makeup on someone else, you just have to make sure you apply makeup just a little bit darker than you normally would. So I'm going to work on blending that out just a little bit more. This brush size is perfect. You will find that you will find the brush that's perfect for you. This one is the perfect size for getting underneath my eyes. It makes like that perfect line for me. And I like it just a little bit bigger. It's just like the perfect size. So just blend that out a little bit. And then I'm just going to take whatever is left over and take it into the crease about halfway in. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Looks kind of messy, but that's okay because we're going to go over it with eyeshadow. And I'm just going to wipe off that brush a little bit. And work on blending it out. If you need to go back in with a q-tip you can. I'm trying to keep this area on my eyelid nude without any makeup so I'm just going to take a q-tip and wipe that off. That made my eyelids a little bit red, but it's okay. So I'm just going to let that dry for a few seconds. And now I'm going to be going in with Wedge, which is this light crease shade. And I'm taking a 217 brush. And I'm just going to lightly go over the Quite Natural. And this will set it and blend the edges. So I'm not really moving around a whole bunch. I'm just taking it into the crease. And without moving it up a whole bunch, I don't want to go over this lighter shade, this lighter area on my brow bone. I want to keep that really light. So I'm keeping that right in the crease. And after I get it blended in the crease, then I'm going to wipe up my wipe off my brush and then blend the edges a little bit more. But I don't want to add any eyeshadow when I do that. Because then you're just going to get a big blurry mess. So just work on blending that. Sometimes it takes just a lot of blending and you just have to be patient. And I'm taking whatever is left over and blending underneath my lower lash line. And remember, it's okay if it's messy because we're going to clean it up with foundation. So don't worry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe off my brush. Actually, I'm going to get a clean brush. Clean brush, I'm going in with Blanc Type. And it is a really light nude shade. And I'm just taking this on the brow bone. And this will blend the edge even more of that wedge in the crease shade. And that's what we want. We don't want any harsh lines or edges. We just want everything to blend smoothly. So 
So I'll just continue to work on that. Also, I'm just going to take it down here, blend that edge out. And then I'll just take my brush and blend the crease a little bit more. Take it onto the eyelid and just blend that out. Okay, now I'm going to take a darker shade and this is called Corduroy from MAC and I'm just using a pencil brush and I'm just going to take this along the outer part of the lash line. I'm making a V and I'm taking that up into the crease and then I'm also bringing that down onto the outer part of the lower lash line. And this is just going to deepen up that outer corner. So right now I'm just concentrating on placing the product on there. And in a minute I will go back in and blend it out a bit. So we're just getting that outer. V. And then we're just going to take a 217. We're just going to use that first brush that we used and just work on blending it out just a little bit. We're not going to take the brush out too far. We're kind of keeping it in the outer corner and blending it. And we're also going to take it down onto the lower lash line and blend that out too. Now to brighten up my inner corner and my lid, I'm using MAC Pigment in Vanilla. And I'm just taking a little bit of my Fix Plus. I'm spraying it on my 239. And I'm just dipping my brush into the product. And I'm just going to pack it onto the center of my eyelid and then also my inner corner. And I'm just going to work on just blending it out a little bit, tapping it out. But I'm not taking it past the outer third of the eye, I guess you could say. Same thing over here. This is such a pretty gold. It's like a really pale gold. got my eyes done I'm going to apply my foundation um, and then I will finish up with the rest of my eyes so I have um, Mac full coverage is what I like to use when I'm taking photos so I have a little bit of NC 20 NC 30 and then I have NC 35 so I'm just gonna mix these colors I'm in NC 25 right now so I might mix a little bit of the NC 20 and the NC 30 together and then um, of course underneath my eyes and where I'm going to highlight I'm going to use NC 20 and then NC 35 where I want to contour. So I'm going to start by using the lighter shade NC 20 and I'm just going to use my finger for this just because I feel like it's going to blend a little bit easier. So I'm just going to start applying this and then blending it out as I go. So placing it in all the areas where I want my face to be highlighted.
and this is like a full coverage makeup doesn't have any sunscreen so um, you're not going to get any flashback any weird casts on your face from the sunscreen blends out really nicely it looks like skin which is really nice so that's super light as you can see so now I'm going to go in with the NC30 and I'm just using my fingers I could use a brush but this is just going to really work it into my skin. Feels weird using my fingers because I'm so used to using a brush. So while my foundation is setting, I'm going to go ahead and apply my liner and I'm using the liquid eyeliner from MAC and I'm just going to be using a small mirror to do that. I know you guys have seen me do this a hundred times before. So I might have to just um, cut this part out if it takes too long. So I'm just going to line the top lash line with this. And then I'm going to go back in and make my wing with a different liner just to make it a little bit more defined. So I've got that done. And for my wing, I'm using the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And this one has a little bit more of a sharp tip for my wing. Using Brunette from MAC to fill in my eyebrows. And then um, the other side of this pencil has a spoolie, which I really like. It really comes in handy. So I'm just going to make sure that I blend out the product. And I'm just going to use my brush make sure it's really blended out I'm just gonna take my brush and add a little bit more product it's kind of hard to get a more defined line with like a round pencil So my skin is a little bit red around the edges, but that will go away. I have super sensitive skin, so anytime I like touch it or mess with it, it gets red. Okay, now for lashes. I am going to add lashes just because I want my eyelashes to pop in the photos. So I'm using the Ardell 116, 116s, and they're not super dramatic. My lashes are drying. I'm just going to add a little bit of the MAC Vanilla Pigment. I'm just using a liner brush and I'm taking like barely any on the brush and I'm applying a little bit to my waterline. So I just added a little bit of the Rimmel Nude to my waterline and I'm just adding a little bit of this um, pigment so it will kind of make my eyes pop a little bit more and just be a little bit more shiny 
so I'm hoping that that will give like a little bit more of a pop to my eyes. We'll see how that works. Okay, so while those are still drying before I apply mascara, as you can see, those are um, really pretty, but they're not too dramatic, the lashes. I really like these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour, and I'm going to be using the shade and light palette by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to use this middle shade first. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheekbones, underneath my cheekbones, temples. I did contour with the foundation just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, um, just barely. I used NC35 so it wasn't too much of a contour. Um, underneath my chin, on my jawline, just the normal places. I'm blend it out just a little bit. Now I am applying my mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to my top lashes. I'm using a different mascara for the bottom lashes, so I'm going to just use that for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my blush. I'm going to use a bright blush because I want it to show up in my pictures. So this one I really love from e.l.f. It's called Pink Passion. Um, as you can see, it's gotten a lot of love from me. And I'm using this um, Real Techniques brush. It's just a small like blush brush. And I'm applying this to like the back of my cheeks and blending it forward. And I want to use a highlighter, but not too much of a highlight today, so I'm contemplating on what I'm going to use. I might just use the vanilla pigment because that looks really pretty. I'm not sure how that's going to look on camera. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and try it. I'm just going to put some on my finger. I'm going to dab it on the back of my hand and then just apply it to the top of my cheeks. I guess it will tie it in together since I do have that on my eyelids. Looks pretty good. that does look really pretty okay for my bottom lashes I'm kind of skipping all around here I'm using Jordana's best lash extreme mascara and I like this for bottom lashes because it doesn't flake and it just makes my eyelashes on the bottom looks so thick and nice. Okay, so I see a few little clumps. I'm just going to take a spoolie and just twist them off. And I am going to use a little bit of brow seal as well. This is Brow Seal from Makeup Forever. And this is just going to keep my eyebrows in place. I'm just barely using a tiny bit. And 
then I'm just pressing it on. And then last for lips, I'm using Please Me from MAC. I love this pink. I really wish I had um, Makeup Forever 15C lip liner. I ran out of it. I need to order some more. But that that's like the perfect lip liner for this. But today I'm using a mix of Red from MAC and Beat from MAC. So I'm applying Red first. And then beat. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you soon. Bye!